Hello friends, welcome to CodeTube. In today's video, we'll be seeing how to host your static HTML web page in an EC2 instance. Now this video is targeted to people who are very new to AWS and who had just started to try their hands on an EC2 instance. So as you're aware, you can host your static HTML pages both in S3 and in EC2. In this video, we'll see how you can host your HTML page in an EC2 instance. Now to get started, this is your AWS dashboard. So we will select EC2 under compute. As you can see, there are no instances currently running. So let's quickly create an EC2 instance for the demo. So I choose launch instance here. And this will show me a couple of options. We will stick with free tire mostly. So let me choose an Ubuntu instance and we will stick with T2 Micro as this is the only option we have for free tire. We go to next. Here you have to configure your instance details. We'll not change anything much here. We will stick with one instance default VPC and we don't need any IAM rules for this demo. So we'll go to the next screen. We'll stick with the default AGB storage here and next is tags. We won't be adding any tags as well. So the next screen is to configure security group. So this is pretty important for us. So we will see how to create a new security group for your EC2 instance. So we will give a group name. So we will call this as code demo underscore SG. And we will pretty much leave this. We'll give type as SSH and port range is 22. So it's anywhere. And yes, so this port 22 is the default port for SSH connectivity and we'll go ahead and launch. So this is a review instance launch. We're pretty much okay with whatever we selected. So we'll go to the next button and just launch this. Okay. So here it is asking us to create a key pair. So key pair is mostly used for authentication purpose to log in into your EC2 instance using putty or any other tool. So we will create a new key pair here. So create a new key pair and we will give the key pair name as CD auth. Okay. And we will download this key pair and launch, launch the instance. So as you can see, we have downloaded the key pair. This is the file which got downloaded. It is in PEM format and we will see once our instance has been ready. Okay, it's okay. It's started. Great. So now next step is we have to create a PPK file out of this PEM file. So for that, we will use putty key gen. Putty gen. So we click this load button in this putty key gen and choose the PEM file which we got download it from AWS and choose this and open. So there's a pop-up, we'll just ignore it and say OK. And we'll click on save private key. So if you want, you can just give any password here. But uh, for the sake of simplicity, we will ignore this and we'll go ahead without any password. And we will use the same name which we had it for the PEM file, but with just a different extension. And we save it. As you can see, a PPK file just got created. It's putty private key. Okay, so let's go back to our console and let us try to log in into this instance now. So we will copy this IP address and we will go to our putty. and give Ubuntu at the rate IP address. So Ubuntu is a default private key, sorry. Ubuntu is a default username to log in. If you don't know what is a default username, you can just click the instance and go to actions and click on connect. So here you can see that Ubuntu is the default username to connect it. So let's close this and go back to putty and click on SSH, click on auth go to browse button 
and select the PPK file which got generated and click open. So there's a pop-up alert, we'll just ignore it and give yes. And we are currently logging into our, yes, now we are able to log it into our Ubuntu instance. So the next step is to install and server. So let me get the root access to install anything before. And once we are at it, let us get the list of all the softwares. Okay. All right, and now let's install. So the command to install is apt hyphen get install Apache 2. Do you want to continue? Yes, and enter. So we have installed our Apache 2 server, and once we are done, let us start. Okay, so the command to start is service Apache 2 start okay so our web server is started so by default if I just go to the browser and give the IP address I'll be able to see a default HTML file we don't need it let's create our own HTML file here so let's go to the folder var www slash HTML and you can see a default index.html here. We'll delete it for now because we are going to create our own HTML file. It's deleted. So let's create something on our own. Welcome to GoTube static web page hosting uh -huh. and we'll write it to index.html let's try to give some let's make this as a heading to look good okay And let's see if index.html is created. So here we go. So now let's go back to the browser and try to access our HTML page. Let's copy this IP address here and open a new tab and paste this. So as you can see, it's we are not able to see the HTML which we just created. So let's see what is wrong. So if you go to a security group, we haven't done a very important step we have not opened port 80. So let's go to the inbound, edit inbound rules and let's add a new rule for HTTP to open port 80 from anywhere and click on save. So now if I go back to the tab, I should be able to see our customized HTML page which we just hosted as you can see, this is the text we gave. Welcome to CoTube Static Web Page Hosting. So guys, that's it for today's video. This is a pretty simple video and this is a good step to get started when you're trying to dirty your hands in EC2 instance. Let's try something new for our next video. Until then, goodbye.